Yo, man, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I had a real, real interesting one today. Um, it says, Jinxie just followed me on Twitch, okay? Thank you, Jinxie. Uh, anyways, I woke up at 4.30 today. Um, I had school at 5 o'clock, bro. And I got there an hour late. But it, it's all right. You know what? Um, school doesn't really matter at this point because we're going to be on a yacht in September, right? September, we're going to be on a yacht. Watch it. Watch it. You don't believe it? Watch it, bro. Yo, this summer, we got crazy, crazy, crazy content coming, bro. Best believe that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to have vlogs. IRL shit, abandoned fucking houses, haunted motherfucking bitches. Like, bro, it's gonna be nuts. Strip FIFA? Anyone into strip FIFA? Anyone wanna see my pepperoni nipples? That's what I'm saying, bro. But regardless of that fact, uh, today we got women confess their biggest secrets. All right. Um, if you're new to this channel, let me just let you know that uh, we do a lot of deep diving on um, the opposite gender, right? Um, we love our women, you know, but sometimes they. Uh, are a little psychotic in the brain. So, you know, we just, we like to learn about them and give each other tips on uh, how to get our dick sucked. All right, let's go, bro. I feel guilty. Make sure to subscribe. Time. I feel guilty. Shut the fuck up, you fat bitch. All right, that, okay, I didn't mean that. Maybe I did. Uh, is the volume good? And I'm like, man, he should just, he should be with someone else. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you. So I'm so sorry. Vamos, Chico. Come on, bro. In partnership with unlikely collaborators. How am I supposed to read that? This group of women was asked, all asked, have you carried a secret about yourself that you dreaded other people finding out? What the fuck? Did you hear that? There's a monster under my bed. I'm sorry. Circle of secrets. I'm sleeping with my best friends. You fucking whore! <laughs> okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a joke, bro. Relax. If this is your secret, if this is your secret and you'd like to claim it, wait, wait. So all of them did it? What's going on? If you'd like to claim it, you can step forward on three. Oh, okay, guys. It's so it's one person's secret, and then if you'd like to claim it, you step forward. Pay attention, guys. One, two, three. I'm sleeping with my best friend's ex. Damn, wait, she valid, though. It's all right. She gets a pass. That's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. I don't... Ah, the close-up. Fuck! Else to share to it. Why do you want to share today? Because I want to tell her, and I just don't know how, so I figure... Might as well get in a video and show her. Shawty, this 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 ain't the appropriate situation and time to be sharing that response. I'll let you know that. <laughs> Sorry, Haley. Haley. <laughs> Damn. So my last ex-boyfriend left me for another girl in my friend group, and then my current boyfriend right now was one of his friends talking things out like is the best form of anything i helped a loved one with a credit card fraud that's right we all do that i mean fuck yo irs chill out it was just a joke all right damn <laughs> dora so, i was on tinder one day and i was just scrolling through and i see this guy where's boots started talking and he was just kind of joking around i was like what do you do for a living he was like i rob banks i was like cool do you need like an assistant and he was like yeah and i met up with him and uh, he was for real and we actually like, robbed a bank <laughs> and make, like, 5k a day blah 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 i was like sick with it i'm trying to quit my job i hate it there Turns wait out, um he was a meth smoker nah i was like cool you know do your thing yo if any meth smokers are on my channel um share the videos with all your meth friends thank you whatever and um, I ended up getting secondhand high off of it, and I didn't realize I was I didn't I, had, I didn't realize that that's what was going on. I was just like, oh, this guy's cool, you know. He's he's a rapper and he got a Tesla. Oddly yeah. enough, the way that I got out of it was he ghosted me, and his name is Donovan. And if you ever see him, tell him I said I better not catch. Slay. 
yo, uh, I think if you smoke meth and you're a rapper, that's like the dumbest shit ever, bro. All rapper, bro, future, uh, all these motherfuckers, bro, they talk about sipping lean, bro. No, ain't nobody going, yeah, bro, I be shooting up in the club. Like, like, bro, ain't nobody want to listen to that, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> To avoid any girls going through what I went through, I was stupid enough to do it, you know? It's a shame. No one should go. My question is, where do I find these dumb bitches? I just want to fuck. Oh, man. Shit. I don't feel like I'm going to go to heaven when I die. Um, I mean, you know what you can do? Turn to Christ, ladies and gentlemen. Turn to Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, I just took my chain off, bro. That's some real shit. Turn to Christ or Allah, whatever you want, bro. As long as you're doing something, bro. As long as you're doing something. That's my take on it, bro. If you don't believe in anything, whatever, bro. But if you have this guilty conscience, bro, turn to something, bro. Find a religion that, that you love, that you respect, bro. Because deep down, bro, that's the, only, that's the only shit that really matters after family, bro. Family and God, bro. That's some real shit, bro. All right, let, let, let's hear this one. I'm just nervous. Oh no, I feel like I'm about to start crying. <clears throat> I was in a church for like four years. Okay. And um, I don't know, I felt like I was there and I found a family, uh -huh. but it just felt like I was there for people. When I decided to leave, that was like the first thing that reminded me was that once I left the church, I left God. And when I leave God, that means I'm going to hell. Mm -hmm. And a part of me kind of believes them. Like, I don't deserve a spot in heaven because I don't do anything to build my place there, if that makes sense. Sorry. But that's not a problem, bro. That's not a problem. You don't, you don't. This is my take on it, bro. This is my take on it, bro. Um, Low key, bro, I think the churches, most churches, I won't say all churches, bro. I think churches are low key a scam, right? Um, I got a couple questions about churches actually. Um, I understand donations, right? But there's no way donations pay your fucking taxes and shit, bro. So how the fuck is the church ran, bro? Who's who's paying that, bro? Like I don't I don't understand that. Um, most importantly, bro, I don't think you have to go to church to build a relationship with God, bro. Just start praying, bro. That shit's tough, bro. At first, bro, listen up, bro. I started praying when I was at the darkest point in my life, bro. And through fucking repetition, through fucking months, bro, skipping out on prayer. Look, I, I went to CCD. I did all that shit, bro. I was never very religious, religious in that sense. I only went to CCD because I was forced to, bro, right? When I was in my darkest time, the person I turned towards was God, bro. That's some real shit. I really did t uh, turn towards him. Look, bro, if you're in the same situation and you're wondering, like, how to start, bro, just start. Just start, bro. Learn a prayer, say the prayer, and just talk what's on your mind, bro. That's it. That's it, bro. And fortunately, in my life right now, every night before I go to bed, I make it a priority to pray, bro. Even if I don't brush my teeth that night, I still make sure I pray, bro. And that took years bro years to get to that point because there was points in my life where i was missing out on prayer and i felt guilty i felt shitty bro like i felt like i i, I don't i don't know how to explain it bro i genuinely felt like like i was doing wrong like i was living like i was living but i wasn't like i was seeing shit but i wasn't living bro you know what i mean do you understand what i what i mean when i say that like i was seeing but i wasn't there bro and as soon as I tur turned myself to God, bro, that, that shit flipped, bro. I became goal-oriented, bro. Every night, bro, I pray for this shit, bro. I pray for this shit. I pray for YouTube, bro, because this is my biggest dream, bro. This is what I pray for, bro. Uh, I don't know, man. If you're going through a struggle, bro, you, you just got broken up with, you feel so fucking lost, bro, turn to God, bro. He'll heal you. That's some real shit, man. Anyways, back to the video. Uh, I think this is a popular one, bro. Yeah, bro. Look. Hey. Hello. See, you're not going to hell. Hey, girl. I'm sorry. If you feel guilty about it, you're not going to hell, bro. We're here with you. 
You'll be I right. was thinking and knowing that I It's all right. I just ranted. My we'll best skip. friend, but I don't want to risk losing our friendship. See, this is what happens when you're friends with the opposite gender. Fuck, man. It's her! Look, look at her! <laughs> Three. 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 This happened, uh, I had met my friend in seventh grade, and... Whoa, what the fuck was that? I'd feel relieved if certain family members passed away? What the and, uh, fuck? I had met my friend in seventh grade, and I fell in love with him, and since I was a girl, and she was a girl, I didn't let her know, only to then get outed. My mom found out. Aww. My family found out. You see, uh, I thought this video was gonna be like, I shake ass on a Saturday, bro. Uh, but it's alright, you know. Her and just not talking to her. I forgave her over time. But the funny thing is that she did end up dating another girl in college. Damn! <laughs> so, that's friendships for me. Yeah. Damn! I've been married for six years and I'm still a virgin. All right, step up, step up, step up, step up. Let's go. Come on. Don't be embarrassed, bitch. Let's go. All right. Maybe his dick don't work. That's you know. Embarrassing. Um, I have been. Hey, you know what? At least she's faithful. At least, at least she ain't fucking other dudes, bro. To my husband, uh, for six years, and we, um. Well, I have never... Or maybe bro just likes oral. Yeah. Sex. Um, My bad, bro. Fuck. I have a very skewed... <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. A very skewed view on sex. Um, A lot of sexual abuse. Oh, shit. Wait, but then how are you still a virgin? I don't know, bro. Let's go. I never had a healthy view uh, of sex. I never got the chance. And then, you know, through a little bit of therapy, <laughs> because I am Christian, this whole time there's this big view of like, this big lie of like, you, you need to save yourself for marriage, you know? And then on your wedding night, like, that's it. And then <laughs> I got married. And on my wedding night, like, that didn't happen. Damn. And I was, like, so ashamed. Maybe he got ED. And my, um, like, my family. Got you ever tried awesome. Blue Chew? But they, you know, made comments of, like, you know, because I want my kid's name to be Gracie. Like, when are we going to see R.I.P. Gracie. Little Gracie around, like. And so I have a lot of pressure. And my husband most amazing dude in the world he's been so patient <laughs> and um i feel guilty all the time i feel guilty and i'm like man he should just he should be with someone else because i can't give him that <laughs> i hope i get there because i want to have kids so bad because <laughs> it's like how come everybody else gets to do this, but I can't? It's just not fair. That's it. What dude is not fucking? I'm confused, bro. Does that guy never watch porn? I don't understand. Shit, man. Yo. If this is your first time watching my video, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we watch a whole bunch of DJ content. And uh, maybe these comments are making you uncomfortable. But that is alright. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Damn, they all not fucking either. Aww. Virtual hug, everyone. That's so sad. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Gross. Don't be sorry. It's what you're feeling, honestly.
Love, sex is not love. Love yeah. is something completely different. And that's facts, though. Sex ain't love, bro. You didn't prove that today. I don't know what will. So I've been married for the past six years, and nobody in my family knows. I've never had sex with my partner. I don't want to cry. Wait, they all? Where are you finding these bitches? Wait. Our marriage is based on a friendship, and it's solely that. It means the world to you, right? My parents are gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to keep it a secret because it's easier to live without people telling you what's right and what's wrong. Yes. Sex, you can have it with anybody, but love, you only find one. And if people understood that connections come with mind, come with feelings, sex wouldn't be viewed as such a necessary thing. That is crazy, bro. Why ain't they cheating? You can love someone else, right? Bro, genuinely, bro, wait a second. Dude, girls like this exist that they don't cheat? Nah, my brain is cooked, bro. There's no way. Where are these girls? Where are these girls? To make a connection with someone. And if you never conceive it, believe best not he loves you more than what sex would have brought him. Mm -hmm. I once stayed in a he his dick don't work that's what it that's what it is bro his dick don't work his dick don't work a relationship because my partner said that I was the reason she wasn't going to kill herself all right now this is the most toxic bullshit high school motherfucking answer question like ever bro ever bro yo listen up i'm talking to the youth right now i know most of my audience is 18 to like 25 and then 25 above which is weird uh actually not really my content <laughs> is not for the children but i do i do know i had like a 25 percent um 18 and younger audience so listen up bro uh if you get in a high school relationship and your partner says they are going to kill themselves if you leave them leave bro leave bro tell your guidance counselor or some shit and leave that's not on you that's not your fucking problem bro that is not your fucking problem you don't deserve to live with that shit bro what the fuck i mean that shit never happened to me bro but listen like literally bro i once stayed in a relationship because my partner said i was the reason she wasn't going to kill herself she needs psychiatric evaluation bro that's not your problem I don't, I don't give a fuck, bro. That is not your problem. She has other issues with her, bro. That's, that's not your fault. And I understand you probably feel trapped, bro, at that point. But literally, all you have to do is tell a guidance counselor if you're in fucking high school, bro. If you're above the age of 21 and you're in, like, fucking college and this bitch says it, not your fucking problem, bro. Genuine, why, why, why do you deserve to be locked down, bro? Fuck that. I don't give a fuck. All right, now let's see what she has to say. When I was 14 and just... 14. That, that's what I'm saying, bro. Starting high school, I was... Just... That's why, bro. The youth needs to listen to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I had a little sparkling of a showmance. She disclosed that... I was the only person keeping her from killing herself. And as a 14 year old, like, you know, you don't, yeah, you don't know really what to do in that situation when you're yeah. handling things so heavy that you've just never dealt with before. And I completely destroyed my relationship with my family. Like I just risked it all for this person. It's the wrong I thing to do, man. Obligation it's the to wrong thing protect them and to care for them and to be their you know safety vest yeah damn they were my first boyfriend i was 14 they were 17 and excuse me what the fuck is happening what okay um you need to call the cops bro what um, the fuck it was really hard because i felt that 17 and 14 
What the fuck? That was tied to them, you know? And being 14, I just thought, like, well, I have to stay with this person. I kind of did the same thing, but I felt like I did it more out of pity. There was a saying that kind of, like, stuck with me for a long time, and it was the whole, um, you can lead a camel to water, but you can't force it to drink. Ooh. You can only help someone so much, and, and then you have to walk away. You can't die because someone else is dying in front of you, you know? Damn! And so... In middle school, I was bullied for being sexually assaulted, and rumors spread saying that I wanted it. Alright, uh, you can't make jokes about this one, so, uh, let's skip this. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I apologize you went through that, but this is a comedy channel. Thank you very much. 20, I got an abortion without telling my parents. That's alright, shit happened. Plan B didn't work, that's plan C, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, I had an abortion with my ex-boyfriend at the time so i'm no longer with that partner and i'm not gonna lie he did say that afterwards uh after he got me pregnant he mostly saw me as a friend then a girlfriend which is like such a dog thing to say i don't know <laughs> if you're watching this oh, i'm sorry i might want to cut that <laughs> I'm thankful to be living in California and to have access to the services despite having gone through the experiences of being heckled outside the Planned Parenthood and the day after- Yeah, uh, you know what, bro? Um, hey man, <laughs> I just told you guys I'm a God-fearing man, bro, but at the end of the day, I can't pay no motherfucking baby bills at 21 years old, all right? So My shit's gonna happen. I ended up going to the ER. I had to do an ultrasound that was an internal ultrasound and my technician told me that it would have been easier to keep the baby than to have gone through with all that I was going through, um, which was really not what I needed to hear in that moment. Um, uh, yeah, that's regardless, seven. I was able to get through it and I was able to patch up my relationship with my family. And more than anything else, they were sad that they couldn't have been there for me um, going through it all. I'm saying this now because I hope I can help someone else feel a little less alone. Um, yeah, uh, I agree with her. Um... Dude, if you're young and you cannot fucking support a baby and you get pregnant, motherfucker, do not bring that child into the world. I mean, unless you want it, bro. Like, whatever. If you want the kid, fine, bro. But if you're going into college, bro, and you're having a baby, you're in high school, you're having a baby, bro, you can't afford it. You got to do what you got to do, right? Uh, It's sad, okay? Yes, I understand that. But at the end of the day, man, you got to do what you got to do, bro. Like, and this baby's not going to grow up with a father. I assume because if she had it, the motherfucker left, right? It's not it's not a life you want to give, you know, a child, bro. So do what you got to do, bro. Uh, Jesus died for our sins, man. You know, plan C, baby. And that this is okay to go through. There's no shame in it. I agree. I agree. Do what you got to do. <laughs> do what you got to do, man. Thank you guys. Group hug! Is that it? After everyone had left, one woman came back to share her experience. My secret was I was molested by a close family member. And we're going to end the video on that one. All right. Uh, yo, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button. Uh, I'll be streaming on Twitch basically every day for the past couple days and a uh, couple ones going forward. You know, um, anyways, bro, I appreciate uh, if anyone actually even made it to the end, bro. Look, bro, I'm not a bad person, right? Uh, I like to take serious shit and make it a joke, bro. That's how I find happiness. And I hope y'all understand that and didn't take this shit too serious, bro. At the end of the day, it's all jokes. Comedy is subjective, right? And, uh, I'll catch you, man.